Good morning, guys. It's gonna be crazy around here today. We have some severe weather that is running through our um, area right now. It's supposed to only get worse as the day goes on. There's like a flood watch for our area for the next, um, until 10 o'clock tonight. My biggest concern isn't for the house. I'm, I'm sure that our house is fine. We have that creek in the back. And a few years ago, the creek rose like really, really high. Um, from a storm that came through. Not up to the house area, but like not far from it either. So basically where our animals are at right now was covered in water um, at that time. I'm kind of like wondering if it's gonna get that bad this year. If I have to run down there and go grab all the animals and bring them into the house, that might just be what has to happen. I don't even know where I'm gonna put them. <laughs> so praying against that. I'll keep you guys posted as the day goes on. Right now, I'm making pancakes for breakfast, banana pancakes to be exact. So I'm gonna get this going and get our kids fed. And of course I have a morning latte to get the day going. Well, we got some characters up this morning. Oh, somebody's trying to steal my coffee. I don't think so. Oh, funky head. You want your own coffee? Cheers. Hey, say cheers. Israel, we have coffee sitting around. He grabbed a sip of them, and now he's hooked. And he wants hot coffee, is what he calls it, like every single day. And it's very awesome and enjoyable to deal with him begging for a hot coffee. But does anybody else, have, how many of you guys are dealing with a similar issue? A child discovered something that you have that you don't give them they're like, oh, that's actually really great and I want to have that every day of my life. <laughs> you making pancakes? Mm -hmm. High five. <laughs> Look who's awake. Cohen the blowing. No, he's loving it. Cohen the blowing. They give me that camera. I don't know what that is, but I'm gonna eat it. The professional flipper has entered the building. Can she flip all these pancakes with one flip? I guess it'd be more impressive if I could flip them with three flips. Oh, wow. Okay, two things I need to report from our grocery video. One, the, um, what did we eat last night? What did we eat last night? What did we eat last night? One, the Hillary's Best Veggie Burgers are world's best. They said they were the world's best. I said I will let you know if they in fact are. And I really can't tell you if they're the world's best, but they were good. They were so good. Uh, all the kids loved them. More than the, the ones we usually get are like a mushroom risotto burgers. These ones were delicious. So love those. Second, the tea I bought. The Numi Aged Earl Grey Tea. I haven't tasted it yet. I should have just tried it and then told you, but it smells amazing. And I am thinking it's gonna be also a 10 out of 10. wisdom if you don't know what to do what to say when your friends are asking you what you believe and you're not sure like how to get them to understand okay if you feel like you just keep making the wrong choices over and over again um, if you lack wisdom you can ask God for it and he will give it to you all you have to do is believe and he will give it to you ask him and he will do it okay so we learned that we learned about hearing and doing the word James said Know this, my beloved brothers, let every person be quick to hear. That means quick to listen. Make sure your number one priority is listening to other people. Listen to their hearts. Listen to what they're saying. Listen to your parents' instructions. Ooh, I don't like the way you do that. Or, ooh, you're not very good at that. And they might think and believe what you just said, and they might quit that thing. 
Whereas if they didn't quit, if they did believe they were good at it, they might keep going and trying and get better and better and better until they are one of the best in the whole world. But because you told them they weren't good at it and they believed it, you just changed their whole life in a bad way. Do you see? There's so much power in what we say. So be slow to speak. Don't just say things just to say them. Y'all, this is insane. Okay, how do I do this without getting my feet wet? Uh, okay, the water is rising. The water is rising. Look, the stairs are almost at the top of the bank. I know. It is flooding over here. Who did? Raining so hard. Oh, is that better? Woo! It is a wet, cold day. Um, it's not too, it's not super cold. It's supposed to be like 60 degrees, but it is just like downpour. It's supposed to get heavier as the day goes on. The creek is like all the way to the top and overflowing. I am making the best, um, the best meal for a cold, wet, rainy day. And that is some soup. We've got some minestrone soup. Can you even see that? Oh, hold on. Let me let me stir it up so you get the full the full picture. So we are simmering, simmering. Look at that. All right. So we've got this hearty looking minestrone soup simmering away. Substituted some things that I didn't have for some things I did have. Anyway, I'm really excited for it to be done to eat it. We've got a fresh loaf of gluten-free bread that we made. We're gonna have with it. And then I made some cookies, cause you know that on a cold, wet, rainy winter day, you gotta have what, John? Some warm baby chocolate. making. Oh my gosh. What? Some warm chocolate chip cookies. I'm blushing because I don't want anyone to think that that is what we're doing or that we have the intention. Okay. Oh, you're going again? Oh, he's falling down again. He's getting stuck again. Mama. Hilarious. Mama. This is crazy. This is the most exciting thing that's happened all year. Dad, could the power go out? Oh, it could do more than that. It could even flicker. <laughs> if the power goes out, we have no heat, so be prepared to oh, yeah, I didn't even... snuggle. Yay! We cut, oh, we so cut, cut the <laughs> Anybody else's 12 year old daughter get excited when you say let's snuggle? Just Tyler? The power outage. We think girl. it's fun when the power outage. We can drink some cold cocoa. Because ah. we don't have any way to heat it up. <laughs> Wait, wouldn't that just snuggle. be chocolate milk? Yeah. <laughs> All right, here it is. Here's yours. Well, that's mine? Yeah, we got freshly grated Parmesan, some parsley. Nice. Some minestrone soup. That's delicious. <laughs> You're professional. Try it and then. Even Kia with. Okay. Even carrots. Even carrots are in there? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see what it is. So we're basically the worst vloggers that ever existed because I'm editing this video that you're watching right now and realized we never ended this video or gave any updates on really anything. For one, the minestrone was fire, so good. Ate it for lunch, ate it for dinner, then just ate it the next day till it was like all gone. It was really, really good. So well done, Danielle. And then as far as the rain goes, um, it got fairly high. I think I actually have a video that I can insert in here. But it got pretty high. Oh yeah, yeah, I used the binoculars. Oh my goodness, that was crazy, I forgot about that. I'm gonna put this video in there right now. But it got high, not to the animals, but it if it rained you know, like that for another few hours, it absolutely would have gotten really close to them because um, it was already creeping up on them but luckily we didn't have to worry about that and they were safe and good and we were good we didn't lose power we we had a good rest of our day um, but yeah so there you go that's the end of the video hope you enjoyed it uh, stay tuned next time I was looking through other footage that we have coming up and we went to the library and on the way back I'm pretty sure we saw you at though. That's all I'm saying. I caught it on camera, but I wasn't sure how good it was because I was trying to zoom in and then of course it like blurred out because this camera was just whatever. But before it got blurry, you could definitely see 
something. So that's the next video. So stay tuned. Make sure you watch it. Bye.